and why that process is not necessary. And that's a simple one. I can explain that to you in about two and a half minutes. But why would I? Go read the friggin' act. It's there. What's your take on it? My take on things is not always what everybody else's take is going to be on things. That's why I always like people to do that. And then people come back to me and say, hey, when I read that, I thought of this. And I'll go, shit, yeah. I kind of like the sound of that. You know? And then, I, then we get new ideas. So quit taking everybody's word at face value. Like, go read the stuff. I got no problem pointing everybody in the right direction, but then you gotta you gotta do a little bit of running yourself for a period. Right? I'm not gonna pick everybody up and and drop them off at the end of the marathon. I have to confess. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a chiropractor, twelve years. Yeah. What I did today for two hours <coughs> for the first time. <laughs> at the bottom is really the chiropractic act. Really. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm confessing my hypocrisy, right? Because I, this is. Yeah. Nice. It's so inherent with, it, with all of us and everything we do. Confess so, your sins, my son. I'm all yours. We've been bred not to know. Yeah. <laughs> I like that we've been bred just to, uh, we want the simple, easy solution. We don't want to just read and act. You know, that's sitting right there in front of us anyways. And even if it, you know, even if your argument is, well, it doesn't apply to me, well, you should be able to prove maybe in your own acts where, where it actually says it doesn't apply to you. So, you're, yeah, thanks to your lectures, a lot of people have been joining the site lately. I've been talking to a few of them lately. And the most common question I get, and uh, this is, I know, probably a hard one to answer because everybody's different and everybody has their own goals. The most common question is, where do I start? Yeah, the, yeah, where do I start? Well, I mean, you started now. People back in the day, I, I mean, when I first heard about being like a sovereign or a free man, I was like, oh, wow, like, well, how do I, how do I become a free man? It's like, well, the, the minute, the minute you state you are, you are. I mean, that, that's something up here. That comes down to, uh, uh, what is that? There's the three, uh, when you're redeemed. And it talks about that in the Bible, too. When you redeem the first time in the spirit and the second time in the body. And i got to say, it's actually, uh, that's something I just recently kind of, see, these are all just my own theories I came up with. And I think about it, when I went back 10 years ago, when my, when my spiritual awakening happened, and you'll know when it happens because you get like this kind of, I call them epiphanies. You get like this euphoric feeling where you just go, holy shit, I don't believe it. And you get, and seriously, you get a tingling up your arms, your hairs will stand up and you just go, fuck. And, you, and you, that's, your, that's the start of your spiritual awakening. And a couple of years after that, you'll notice your body actually wants to start fighting you on that. Your body's like, no, we really like what's going on here kind of thing, eh? Like your body's almost got a mind of its own. It likes the fact that, no, 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 you know, we, we got beat an awful lot less physically when you didn't start doing this kind of shit. So we really don't like what you're doing. You actually start to have a fight with your body. It's the weirdest thing. You'd think that, well, no, your mind is your body. And, well, no, obviously it's not because it even says it's not in any most religious texts, right? So then you, you start to have the battle between mind and body where you have to smart your body up and say, no, no, dude, we're, we're in this together. And then you win that battle, and that's, I think, when you start to loo ultimately lose the fear. So when you win the, the I, I think that has some real, yeah, okay, so that, that's where it all comes from. That's, we'll get back to that point, is that's, that's, that's your, your path. Your path is, number one, your spiritual awakening, and then number two, your, uh, your, your earthly awakening, your earthly body, if you want to call it that, your, your, the victory of your mind over body, where your body stops rebelling against you because your body is scared that you're going to get beaten or killed or starved or something based on what this guy's doing, who ultimately is probably going to live forever anyways, right? <clears throat> so I guess if that's a, a weird and cryptic way of putting it, but your, your path starts the minute you got that seed in your brain. That's why I love that movie Inception, right? As soon as that seed is there, <coughs> you, you know you're on the path of being a sovereign or free man. A sovereign or free man is whatever you say you are. It's not like, uh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, here's this definition of sovereign. Uh, yeah, I just did that today. Okay, that's good. It's like when you find your courage. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, and even once that battle's over, I mean, it's not like that, that means you're sovereign. It's just the sovereign's a word for something that we all are always striving for through our lives. It's just free, to be free, to not be under the authority of another, to be so, so I jurist, so. Okay, uh, I've been uh, administrating this WFS for about two years now, okay. and I've been approached uh, by people who are calling this a mind virus. I like that, a mind virus. What's your opinion on... Okay. Uh, like because uh, after you get the thought, the inception in your brain, yeah. there's no turning back. And the woman in the movie 
actually jumped off the building in real life because she didn't think that it was real. Yeah, and, and that's actually, the, that, that is a valid point because the, the problem is, is for, for a lot of us especially, is once you have this awakening, you, 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 you couldn't go back to being normal no matter what anyways. It's a, it's, it is a virus, it takes over. Absolutely it takes over, there's no question about that. The idea of freedom and uh, once the mouse realizes there's something outside of the cage, you, you'll never be happy being back in the cage. Yeah, I think it depends on your metaphor for the virus. Viruses can be good or negative. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, some people call it mind virus. I I would I, I like it's, I like calling it a seed because a seed is what gives rise to life, obviously, right? So once that germinates and starts to take hold and everything grows in your head, and it does, your understanding grows more and more all the time. It's not that's why I try to tell people you got to read this stuff and you got to get your own mind around it. You actually just can't be told. You have to learn it and understand it, and that only happens in your own head after years of, of you know, it's, it's a road, it's a path. Uh, there's no other way to explain it. There's no awakening. It, it is, it's an awakening, and it always, you're always awakening more. I don't think your mind ever stops expanding once the, once the idea is opened and you start, I mean, people are always asking me, like, where are you coming up with this shit, or where, where are you reading this online? It's like, I'm not. I've, 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 I've read it, I've done it. Now at this point, it's just this, taking all the information I've read over the years and the experience and just, just making my own shit up. And that's what sovereign and free men do, right? When you start writing your law, your laws, living your life and dictating how your life is gonna go, that's what a free man and a sovereign is. Amen. <coughs> so, yeah, okay. So I, I wouldn't say virus, that's probably somebody's... Yeah. Well, just as uh, humans are a virus on the earth, or even trees and plant life are a virus on the earth. Only certain people are viruses on the earth. <laughs> well, and we're not talking about internet trolls. Yeah, well, that too, yeah. Yeah, I would say, uh, a vi what's, what's a, a virus by definition? It kind of cons consumes without... Uh, it consumes itself. Well, it consumes, but without, uh, without producing anything of uh, value for the, the organism that it lives off. Right. Right? Those are forced to evolve around the virus. Also. Yeah, there you go. So it's not like it's a symbiotic organism. They're, you know, we both get something off one another, because I, I still wouldn't even call government that, because everything the government provides for us, we gave to it, and we can live just fine without it altogether. Period. It's not like we're going to die tomorrow if government disappeared or went away. And that's not saying they even say they should disappear or go away. Just if they did what they originally created, what we originally created them to do. To protect the people instead of the corporations. Uh, they're they're supposed to be that. protecting us from these corporations, but now right. they're kind of enforcing corporate law against us. They, they, you know, so we got to take that power back, and that's I think that's what we touched about earlier on there with you know what is our true power. Yeah, I think it's probably more correct to call what we call government the government agency. Yeah. Because we are the government. Yeah, that's correct. We are the government. So the government agents. Yeah. Government agency is what yeah. we call government. And people always say, I get some questions about that. Well, what do you mean we are the government? It's like, well, technically, like, it's the same way as saying when, um, and I've heard this argument used, when the, uh, I remember there was a story about a fellow who was going to court because he didn't have a fishing license or whatever. It was a fishing license, and uh, he went to court, and he said, and the government said, you know, the Crown said, well, you didn't have a license or whatever, and the guy said, well, you know, who, 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 is, who, is, uh, who do the lakes and the fish belong to? And it, it, it doesn't matter whether it was the judge or the crown said, well, it belongs to the people kind of thing, right? And he said, well, if it belongs to, uh, um, I'm probably missing part of the story. But either way, it came down to, well, if it belongs to the people, and I'm one of the people, then why do I need a license to be, you know, and then, bam, case dismissed. This is a simple argument, very simple argument, and it's, it's completely correct because, well, it, it belongs to the government. And then he said, well, who's the government? Is the government not the people? And he said, well, yes, of course the government's the people. So... That was the end of that court case. And it's the same idea. And it's the same concept of, uh, that's actually something I want to talk about tonight too, is the, uh, we're having more of a philosophical, kind of theological thing tonight here. But uh, just because of all the stuff that's going on in the UK right now and all these debts and the stock market tank, and you know, everybody is just going crazy about all the shit that's irrelevant that's happening out there. Um, all these debts and austerity and the uh, U.S. government is spending trillions, and they owe trillions upon trillions. The Canadian government's in debt, two trillion dollars, and the province of Manitoba is in debt, seventeen point eight billion dollars, literally seventeen point eight seven something billion dollars. I hope to add a few to that. Um, every nation on this planet 
is in debt, all these trillions of dollars. Okay, except two. So who the fuck do they owe it all to? Is there like this creditor country out there? Like even China owes money to people. Right? But who is it? Iceland and Iran and North Korea are the only ones. Yeah. That's right, and they're going to build us under our bank. Yeah, and I think yeah. up until recently it would have been uh, Lebanon as well. Yeah. So either way, if all these countries are in all this massive debt, how could they be? Who's it owed to? It's all owed to the IMF. And the IMF. <coughs> it's all owed to the people. Yes. Yes. So the debt is so the debt is my share. The debt is cancelled. <laughs> because we have to ourselves. The debt's all owed to us. And Iceland has done it. There you go. Iceland went through it and it took that exact position. So that's what that's what I mean. So so if the government's trying to say to you, well you have to pay all these taxes and pay all this money to the government because the government owes all this money, well here's a simple argument that I haven't heard anybody ever make and I haven't had a chance to make it yet. And I made it kind of argument like that just on something else I'm doing that we'll get into right now. But you could just easily say, well, I'll tell you what, if, if you have to collect money off me so that the government has money so it can afford to pay off all these, these debts that are owed to the people, and I'm one of the people, how about I just forgive all the debts you owe me instead? Here, I'll sign a liability waiver. Send a liability waiver into the government. You don't owe me any money anymore. So quit fucking asking me for anything. Mm -hmm. Quit That's collecting from me to pay me. But I actually wouldn't do that. I like the fact they owe me money. <laughs> yeah, it's nice I to be a creditor. Yeah, it's a, you're a creditor. I think it's even better to say, well, you're not getting the money to pay me from me. So you better get a fucking tool belt. Or get a dishcloth. You're going to be working a long fucking time to pay this one off. Right? Take that position with them. Make that argument in court, though. Say, well, if, I, if, if you're collecting taxes off me to pay off this debt that's owed to the people, and I'm one of the people, then is that even lawful to collect, to get me to pay, pay a debt you owe to me? Well, no, of course it's not even lawful. Are they going to make that argument? You're probably never going to court again, ever, for, with Revenue Canada. You just said, that, how simple was that? Yeah. It's simple. It's simple. Do I have to walk into, we were just talking about that before uh, class two, about like all the, Ecclesiastical deed polls and the three alleged levels of, of jurisdiction of the court when you walk in there. And am I am I seriously going to make any of these arguments in court when the judge comes back after comes back after the third time? Am I actually going to accuse the judge of being an agent of Satan, coming back in a third capacity kind of thing? And, and like like no, like seriously, you, you're going off for a psych evaluation at that point. But these are all simple arguments that once you understand, I mean, like, like I say, I could answer everybody's questions in the world, well, if I had enough time, but you, you can come up with your own, your own answers when you read this stuff. And that's all you have to do is ask yourself simple questions like, well, if every government owes money, who do they owe it to? The only answer could be the people. But that's all that's left. We're the ones that they're actually ge generating all the money, the, 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 the money from. So if they owe money, it's to us. Right? So once you come up once you come to that conclusion, it's like, well then how is it how is it legal or lawful for them to to collect money off me to pay that debt? Then they're just collecting off of me to pay me and taking a cut for doing it. Well that's the biggest fucking scam the world's ever known. So guess what? Maybe that should be in the form of an affidavit and put in your court file against CRA. Have them rebut that one. I'd love to see it. If somebody does that and they get a reply, I would love to see that one. Instead of making the, nar the, name, the name argument. Sorry, my throat's a little sore. I wasn't feeling well today, so I'm just making sounds that sound like words, but they're not. Um, okay, so there's that one while we're off ranting about, any, about certain things. Any other kind of questions? Anybody else, like a, like a common theme that seems to be coming up online that people are confused about? Uh, well, uh, people are overjoyed with your videos. They're like, I've never heard somebody explain it so well. <laughs> um, yeah. What's your opinion on the reason for the mind virus being that uh, people don't want their government to go to war with other countries for nefarious reasons? Like if we need oil. Uh -huh.